guys, welcome back to some Guild of Guardians. So it's been a couple of weeks since we started playing this game. We have a pretty solid team in place. We've been building up our team and I just wanna run through a couple of things in today's video. And of course, we are at the end of another week, which means endless challenge, that is right. The results are here. Your rank is number three. We actually you have been tearing up quite a bit. So we definitely got some rewards out of there. The rush results, we did get rank 584. So making pretty good progression within there. Then of course the arena season, Um, so far the, the rank this season is two, which again is not really in perspective because it's kind of weird how they do this. And I still think they need to streamline a lot of this, but we do get some pretty good rewards out of here. Now, of course, those are utilized within the shop. Wanted to run through the shop. This is a lot of questions that I do get from YouTube um, about the shop what we're prioritizing. If you are free to play the featured and the premium, you're not gonna use that all. There is gonna be no point. There is not gonna be anything you're gonna use. Now, of course, you have to pay attention, and I've said this before, you have to pay attention if you're spending money in Guild of Guardians, you have to pay attention to what you're getting because there's a lot of stuff like limited chests where if you look at the monthly chest or even looking yeah, at the monthly chest here, um, looking at the $20 pack, you get 30, 110, out of the $100 pack, you get 60, 230. So even if you bought this one five times, which I know is gonna be over the five months, you would get far more loot. I know you're not getting it upfront like you are with this one, but again, you have to be really cognizant of what you're buying and what you're getting. Because even when you look at the golden chest right here, that is gonna yield you one legendary guardian. That of course, for $99, you can probably pick up a couple and honestly probably what five, maybe six legendary guardians um, out of different packs. That's why you have to be very, very um, knowledgeable, very imperative when you look at treasure trove and what you're getting to what you're buying. Because when it comes to summoning heroes in here, remember you are locked into a certain tier. You're locked into the core one and the gen one heroes. You cannot get the founders. You cannot get the early, which of course, if you're spending money like this, chances are you could get some really good heroes over on Treasure Trove, as well as other things that are coming in this game. Now we know we have the energy token that I love to get. That is probably the absolute number one priority. If you're buying anything within Guild of Guardians, it is the energy token, which I do have that link down below. But of course, when it comes to the purchases in here, like I said, you can pick up a ton of different heroes that would be far more beneficial and making progression on a regular basis, then trying to pick up heroes out of here. And that's the reason why when it comes to summoning, when it calls, comes to call calling crystals, they are not worth it at all. Um, we have a lot of players that even looking here, the calling crystal, 30 calling crystals for 149, chances are you're gonna get a hero out of there, but also the chances are that you can buy the hero usually a lot more cheaper, cheaper um, depending who's in there. And of course, looking at the heroes that we have right now in the summoning itself, not really worth getting either of those heroes, unfortunately. So if you're, again, you're buying things, you gotta make and pay special attention. Now, if you are free to play, looking at the item store, you can see that we bought all of these out. Now, of course, all of these do come with a little bit of a discount. When it comes to diamonds, there's a couple places outside of summons that you're really using them. Um, and that is for the resets. This game has a lot of different resets. And that is why I wanted to cover a couple things today again. The more we know about this game and the more that we understand, the faster you can make progression. Now looking in here, I've been buying out, again, the summoning stones, the power stones for the gear, the epic guardian, which we've been recycling, and the rare guardian, because again, they are relatively cheap. Now when it comes to the rush store, none of these heroes are really worth it. Possibly Grizel, but overall the cost of Grizel is not really worth it in my opinion, because of course, when you're doing summons and if you're doing summons on a regular basis and at the end of the video, we're gonna do a couple summons, but if you're doing them on a regular basis, you actually get the ability to get a lot of copies of these heroes out of different places. But then of course, looking at general offers. Rush tickets, I really wouldn't get. Wisdom Dust, as much as I do like the Wisdom Dust, one of the big things that you know we wanna talk about in this game is the ability to build a multitude of heroes, which means if when we go look at our heroes, I have five heroes built in only five heroes. I am not even remotely in the same region of getting level capped for any of them, which would give me the ability to build out a sixth hero. Wisdom Dust, we have just been getting a ton of Wisdom Dust. I've never bought it. I've just gotten it out of regular gameplay and I don't see any scenario where we would be kind of capped or we would run out of this Wisdom Dust that we would have to start buying it out of here. Now, of course, when it comes to the souls, the souls have been the absolute most difficult hurdle and they need to give us more ways to get these souls because this is the only way that you can level up the heroes, especially if you are free to play, if you're pay to win, whatever it is, getting these souls is super, super expensive, especially when you start getting heroes higher 
because of the the exponential amount of souls you need. Even looking at my um my ten four Leah needs ten thousand souls. We're getting a thousand in the course of a week. Which again, through sacrificing heroes, you're getting 100 or 500 for a legendary. To get to 10,000 is weeks and weeks and weeks of building them up, which of course is going to, um, again, there, there has to be a faster way to get souls. Now looking at the arena store, we went through a couple here. Again, Calling Crystal, not worth it. Epic Legendary Guardians for the price, not at all worth it. So most players have been buying gold out of here. So as you can see, a majority of the gold is sold out. Again, they need to add a couple more things in here to really make it a little bit more viable, possibly adding some more souls in here to really make this um, make this available to a lot more players and available really better resources or better, um, better rewards out of here for what you're putting into the arena. Then of course the guild stone, we are just buying these summoning stones. Never miss the guilds, the guild um, donations. Now, of course, when you start looking at a guild like Krektos that I am in, guild donations are guild levels. Guild levels allow you to put more heroes in there. The more heroes, the more players can contribute. And that is the rinse and repeat. Now, we know the guild aspect, the guild is coming pretty soon with the whole guild aspect and the ability to guild craft. We're going to have to see what that is all about, but it is on the horizon for this game. And then, of course, we do have beasts. We have pets that are coming pretty soon in the next couple months. So again, another layer is going to be added to this game, which I am super, super stoked about. Now, of course, looking near the advanced material chest, I bought one of these. It gave me one resource, which is not really worth it for 600. So again, even looking here at the advanced materials with the basic box, and then of course, the more expensive box, not worth it at all to get it, which gives you summoning stones. And then of course, looking here, this is again, kind of goofy because you get tier two legendary gear, which right now we're building and crafting um, tier six legendary gear and tier six um, epic gear. So again, there's no reason to get any of these. Again, another part of this game that kind of needs to be updated. Then we get into the endless store. So there are a couple different ways that this is kind of broken up. And I realized this just looking at the, the heroes. So looking at Halia, Freya, um, Carrick and Crass right there, or, or Cyrus right there. Um, these four heroes are heroes you have to purchase. So if you're purchasing the heroes, yes, you will absolutely have them, but there is nowhere else that you can actually get these heroes. They are not free to play heroes. But when you start looking at Thor, you look at Tybor and you look at Oxalus, all three of those are free to play heroes. So the thing that I've been focusing on since we've actually started is getting my five primary heroes all built up with their exclusive item in here. Now, a couple things to remember with this is there are a multitude of ways that these items are rolled. Now, they do have multiple abilities. So if I buy, for instance, right here, we have 6,850. I'm going to get Cyrus's mantle. Um, the mantle can provide different stats. The mantle can also provide different abilities. And some of the abilities don't work, which is, again, kind of... Um, kind of crappy, but yes, they need to fix some of the abilities that some of the abilities that we're getting from the items do not work. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna buy this one because I want the stats. I'm gonna throw that on Cyrus and see what the ability is. Now looking at the epic gear, it is the exact same. So when you look at Morax, when you look at Gwen, when you look at Priel, um, I believe even Farah, they are heroes that you have to buy. When you look at Telvo, when you look at Flix, when you look at Zahara, Zahara, um, they are heroes that you can actually get. So there is, again, a part of this that is kind of the pay to win aspect. There's a part of this which is the free to play aspect, depending on what you're looking for. And then, of course, items. When it comes to these items, when it specifically comes to the ability to get these star stones, which, of course, are going to level up that exclusive item we just bought for Cyrus, but also getting EXP. This is the only way that I found to get it in bulk and really focus on these end game tokens or the, the endless mode tokens and being able to build up your heroes much stronger. Now, of course, there is a return with this, meaning that if I'm going through here and I'm buying 150 of these star stones, um, getting them is going to allow me to build the heroes. Building up the heroes are going to allow me to score more points in that endless mode, which means that you're going to have to invest in this area of the game to be able to advance through endless mode like you need to. Now, of course, like I said, we're gonna hop over and I wanna look at Cyrus. So Cyrus has been wearing Grizel's item. So looking here, we actually had Grizel's amulet right here. So I'm gonna drop this one off. Let's go ahead and equip. And there is Cyrus's. So what did we get out of here? We got defense. And as you can see, tempered defense, Cyrus reflects 60% of damage back to attackers. Now, players have said this does not work at all. So of course, when this skill happens, 
Um, the damage taken from in front of Cyrus are reduced by 50% on level three, that this is actually not effective at all. It is not working at all, um, unfortunately. So this is just gonna provide us with that 15 defense. And then of course, because we have our hero right here, Tirok, that does not have an exclusive item because it is unavailable. I'm gonna drop Grez's amulet on there, giving um, this hero, as you can see, another 2,899 defense. But we do have some more defense on there from Grizzel's amulet. And then of course, looking at a few different ones that we can build or we can really look, increasing speed. We got some more HP on there. Then of course, looking at our tanks, I'm gonna build this up just a little bit. Now the reason for this is we need the defense. So what I've really noticed, and again, kind of the, the live and let learn. So as we've been going through the content, as we've been building this out, um, we need our tanks to stay alive and we need our tanks to stay alive in a really, really, really big way. Meaning that when we go into a lot of different game modes, my tanks unfortunately get melted and they do die relatively quickly. So having them built up a little bit further, adding some more HP on there, hopefully is going to increase the survivability. Now, of course, just like Leo, when you get to 20, you actually, to level this up, I need some of these. So as you can see, we're zero of 10. Not even sure what it's called. It looks like a little kind of bluish vial. This vial comes from sacrificing the guardian gear. So sacrificing the exclusive gear is what actually gives you these. And for every piece you, you sacrifice, you get 10 of these, which means we're gonna have to spend a ton, an absolute crazy amount of our endless tokens to actually get these exclusive gear. With the exclusive gear, we're gonna have to sacrifice or recycle that exclusive gear to build it up a little bit further, which again is gonna be very, very detrimental and very, um, very time consuming when it comes to, to building it up. I was kind of thinking how crazy it is um, to actually get it built up and really built up that high. The cost is through the roof in its entirety for how expensive it's gonna get. Now, as you can see, like we were talking about earlier, when it comes to level, my level cap right now is 144. I am on 132. Even using the 60 scrolls that I just bought, it gives me one single level. Now, of course, I am prioritizing leveling up Leah because of the skills, the abilities, trying to get this hero. And as you can see, we're getting closer to 1 million right here. Then the enlightenment, like we said earlier, looking at the keeper souls. Guys, we need 10,000 of these souls to actually level it up. And then of course we already do have our radiant and this is capped at I believe 60% right now, which is the max that we can do. So at 10,000 of these souls, we have a 40% chance to fail on this. And then of course doing the enlighten with the radiance together, like we've talked about before, is the way that you actually wanna do this and you wanna make sure that you're doing it together at the same time. Now I think I'm gonna go in here and look at Karuk and I'm gonna just gonna level this up a couple more. I don't wanna be sitting on resources. Anytime that you are just sitting on resources and there's really nothing you can build, you can take a hero, build the hero up possibly a little bit further, whether it's on gear, whether it's on you know defense, whether regardless of what it is, having the ability to build these heroes up kind of little by little and more and more does make a big difference. And it is an absolute game changer. So we got what, let's do two more summons in here. And as you can see, we've been doing summons on a regular basis, but like we were talking about, with our calling crystals right up here. It is not really worth it to get either of these heroes. Haven't heard too many very impressive things. And a lot of players have pulled this. It says right here, guaranteed legendary with every 30 summons. But when you look at the cost, the cost of getting the stones is actually much higher than just going on token trove and buying the hero itself. So again, this is very interesting. And of course, when you start looking at these stones, there's almost no way to get them short of the one shop that we looked at. And of course, looking at these ones, a lot of players have been saving some stones, but I've been going in here and I've been recycling a lot of different heroes, which is exactly what we need to do because we need those souls. And there we go, guys. There is another copy of Tybor. So very cool that we did get another one. And I'm wondering if, I don't think we have anything else to actually radiant or enlighten this hero or ascend this hero. Yeah, 34 of 104. We don't have enough to actually turn him into an NFT like we've seen before. But when it comes to recycling the heroes, again, we have been kind of doing this on a regular basis. Looking at our common, looking at our rare, boom, there we go. We'll sacrifice all of these heroes. Look at that, 60, 60, and 34. Again, when, when it comes to having enough to actually build out some of these heroes, you are talking an incredible amount of time to actually get them built. And then of course the duplicates, I do the same. 
We'll go in here, we'll recycle the duplicate. So I'm just kind of keeping one of each hero. Um, a lot of players were saying, I don't need to keep any of the heroes, that we can just go ahead and recycle a majority of these heroes that we don't need them. Then of course, with that copy of Tybor, that actually gives me 500 of our redeemers. Now, of course, looking at the team that I'm running, so I have Cyrus, I have Karuk, um, we have Leah, we have Tivok, Ty Tyrock, and we have um, Tivok. Overall, with these five, I don't think there's gonna be any other heroes I'm using, especially when it comes to those legendary heroes, because again, we are focusing on the enlightenment and focusing on specifically getting these heroes a lot higher. 3.4 or five, which again, we can add this in here. And looking at three radiance, I believe 75 is gonna be the cap in here. There we go, so 8,500 for 75 probability. Just need some more souls in here and we'll be able to actually level um, Cyrus up a little bit more, maybe, hopefully get some radiance on there. We've been trying every single time. And of course, these souls come from sacrificing NFT guardians, which means that you're gonna have to get some seals in there, which means that you're gonna have to go through here and recycle a lot of the heroes like we did with Grizzel making it very, very expensive to build these heroes up. Now, of course, when it comes to the leaderboard, when it comes to the Guild of Guardian tokens, I'm hoping pretty soon that we'll actually get some more. I can swap them from some of, for some of our Aerie seal, Seals so we can actually get some more of those heroes and continue this recycling process that we've seen kind of throughout this game. So, all right, guys, so that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.